This show is brought to you by Manscaped, the world's leader in below the waist grooming. AFTV Yardman, good to have you on again. Um, listen, I'm going to ask you this, right? Did Arsenal shock you today in the way that they just totally dominated that game? Yeah and no. Yeah, we know that we have the player who can go to Liverpool, all of the top teams and, and win. So it's not a surprise we go there and win. Remember, we haven't won at uh, Manchester United for what? God, he knows when we, the last time we win. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm about to say to you. You, you. you say, yeah, we know we got the team who can go there and win. But we haven't won at Manchester United, apart from today, since 2006. Yeah. Yeah. Six. But but if you look at the team that we have, and I don't want to get carried away here because it's still not right. The team is not playing good. The team is not... The, 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 the starting level for the Premier League is not yet even there. We don't know who's the starting level. We don't know which team going to come out at any given time. And this one nil win to over Manchester United is three points. I'm happy for it. I didn't expect to win there. But we have to understand that Mikel Arteta is doing something where it is not right. It is not right in no way, shape or form. He's playing a type of ball game that's not the Arsenal way. And we we'll always hear about the, 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 the Liverpool, the Chelsea, the, the Man U, the Man City. They're not playing the, the type of ball game that they're used to. And Mikel Arteta is not doing it. Why are we overloading the left-hand side? Why we don't have a hold in a, a, a you, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you moaning about the performance from today? Of course. Because what? this prefer, no, no, this what? is what, Yes, of course I am. No, seriously. Are you being serious? You're moaning about the performance today. I'm not moaning about the performance today, but I'm moaning because if you look to the way or he set up the team, that is the problem we it have. It was perfect today. No, it wasn't. It was perfect from no, the No, Manchester United was poor today. We made them poor. From no. the minute, from, you know, listen, from minute one, we were in their face. We dominated the whole game. Dominate right? what? We dominated. What, what, did you watch? Uh, did, were you watching the game? Were you watching the game? <laughs> okay, we, what, what, which, did you watch the Arthur in Argentina, that one? <laughs> Rob, <laughs> Rob, what we need to get, what we need to understand. I'll say this before, before I'm going to ask you to get you, you, know, you can explain it to me. But from what I saw, right from the start of the game, we were on the front foot, we were in their faces, we dominated the game. If we had been more clinical in that game, Saka had a clear header, he just headed over the bar. Willian had that chance, which he, he clipped the, to, um, the top of the crossbar. Yeah. We were dominant throughout the game. We, we had... Um, we were the ones. We were the ones always posing the danger. Yeah. And oh. you remember, we're playing against a, a team that has put five half RB like big. We kept Rashford quiet before the hat trick. We kept Bruno Fernandez quiet. We kept Pogba quiet. We kept all of those good players quiet. I thought it was a brilliant away performance. That is a problem we have with all these Arsenal supporters. One game, yes. We are back. We get by the. Oh, no, I know it's only one. No. I know it's only one game. Okay. But I'm coming off this one game. I thought it was a brilliant performance. Four years ago, Marcus Rashford scored against Arsenal on his debut. Yeah, he hasn't right. scored since. He hasn't scored since. So don't take this game because we keep him quiet. That means he hasn't scored since. But what you need to look at, Robbie, the how the team set you set up. Oh, Mikel Arteta picking the team. What he's doing. We using this two trophy that Mikel win to overshadow everything this guy is doing. Yeah, we are playing a defensive bargain. He got it right. To what he's talking about? He got Wait. it right today. Wait, Wait. What you got right today? Today was a way masterclass performance. Masterclass, Robbie. Are you smoking? Are you smoking? Troops was there with you, yeah. Troops was there with you, yeah. You smoking, fam? No, oh, Rob, you have to understand. As I said to you, Manchester United today was poor. It was a poor oh, we performance. Made we but made them poor. We made them poor. They went to PSG, right? They were excellent against PSG. They, during the week, they beat Thank Arsenal. you. 
five nil. Yeah, and deserve to win. Let, 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 let me get this clear. They came into this game on a high, and we kept all of their big guns quiet. All of them. So, so we have three opportunities, three shots and, and, and target. I took goal, yeah. William take one, not three shots. Sorry, we have three, two, two, two opportunity races should have scored. William click the bar, the crossbar, and Saka get one when edit over the bar. Apart from that, you said we were brilliant. Apart from that, what we done? What we done apart from we that? Brilliant. I'm saying I'm, when you got hold, on. hold on, I'm asking you what we done apart from that. We were always on the front foot. There was, there was, you know, mark my word, there wasn't a lot of clear cut chances, but we were always the team that looked good. Oh, you like just come out and say we were brilliant. It we, was dominated, we dominated Rob. the game. Rob. This is. It. This is the problem. So you believe that Mikel Arteta is picking the right team week in, week out, in the Premier League? Today he, did. Today he got everything spot on. All right then. So you believe... He's gone to Old Trafford yeah. against a team that have just beaten RB like 5 nil, and he dominated them. Okay then. And he's away. There's no Man United fan that will turn around to you and say that they deserve to win that game. Right? Of course we're, they deserve to get our points. Mikel... That game was a Mikel Arteta masterclass. And that is the problem. I know, I know you can you can talk about us. We need to be consistent. I hear you. We do need to be consistent. We ain't talking about consistent here. Rob, hold on, Rob. Game, that, what more did, that was a brilliant performance. Hold on, Rob. Rob, hold on. Give me a minute here. Quickly. You have to remember, yeah, we are playing Saka, Kieran Tierney, and, Ab and Ab Abba on the left. Right. Yeah. So we sacrificed... I got a player to go on the left and take a play up midfield. We, we do it with Liverpool, what happened? We get beaten. We do it with um, Leicester, what happened? We get beaten. We do it with, um, who was the play? The top, the top team will play. We play Liverpool. So, from what we've been looking, it's, it's not right. The way we pick the team, why would I have Pepe on the bench? Why would you buy Williams to come and play on the right? We won the game today. Which yeah, but yeah, we can't game. look at it. We can't look at it. Because we and we lost. We did the win. I can't. Listen, if he gets it wrong, like last week, people were criticising him, saying he got it wrong, right? But that's the same thing he did this week. Last week, no, of course it was different this week. He had, what he had because because Williams come back from the bench. First of all, I'll give you the difference, right? So first of all, he had Rob Holding in there, right? That was a bit of a surprise that he sprung. Rob Holding in there alongside Gabriel. He had Partey and Mohamed Elneny, who was brilliant, by the way. So many alongside Parker. So you believe? So you believe? Oh, hold on, hold on. No, you ask me what he's done different. He's done a lot of hold things. On. Hold on. So you believe Thomas Partey and El Mene in our midfield that solved our problem? I, don't, I didn't say it solved that, the problem. That's what you're busy. Okay. I said today they were brilliant. But Robbie, do you not understand? Didn't you that think they were brilliant today, Rob? So the, hold on. Did so they hold dominate? On. Hold on. Did they dominate the midfield today? No. 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 Have you seen stats? They didn't dominate the midfield. They didn't. They just they just press Manchester United. And if Manchester United is once they press us, it has a different type of ball game. I don't yeah. know what they if, didn't if, because they couldn't because we dominated the midfield. They marked Bruno Fernandes. Oh, boy, a out. poor game. Poor they game. Was, <laughs> Fernandes poor yeah. game. Pogba poor game. Poor game. Fred. Poor. Everybody have a poor game. Right, why? United. why? Because they just have a poor game. So you don't, like believe, you, don't believe that, you don't believe that we can force a team to, into having a poor game? Not so with not with everybody, everybody from Man United just happened to have a poor game. I, I, I believe that we can, but if the, if the coach and the manager pick the right team and set up the right way, the formation, then we could beat any team. But what we're saying here, we left Pepe on the bench, and we bring on Williams to play on the right. So I've sent the two million on the bench, but we're going to get Williams for free to play him on the right. Why we don't play Williams in the midfield? Yeah, we because won. at the end of the day, we won. So, so, he so got because it. we won. If so, we don't lose, okay, no, like, 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 listen. If we lose the game, two nil, one nil, whatever, you could be saying what you're saying, right? But at the end of the day, the decisions we've made today are designed to make us win the game, and we've won the game. What do you want? All I can say to you, 
typical Arsenal supporter. You are a typical Arsenal supporter. Oh, One okay. thing, and we're on top of the world. No, 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 no. No, no, no. no. That's, that's what you're saying here. I'm just dealing with one game in isolation. I'm talking about, I've seen our manager go today to a place that we have not won since 2006. Uh, but we win by a penalty. Um, it was a convincing a a penalty. Draft, dominate the game, win the game, get the three points. What more do you want him to do? I don't know. What more I want him to do? What, let, okay, let me answer your question quickly. Quickly. One, I want him to bring in um, Williams um, Saliba back into my, 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 my team. Because remember, last year when everybody was playing badly at the back, giving away goal left, right and centre, hold on. The only thing we could hold on to is that, okay, next year we can't wait to see next year because we have young William Saliba coming in, in at the back to, to try and, and stable the back. Why we don't see William Saliba coming in? Why? Why, why Mikel Arteta feel like him can go inside them feelings and, have a, and do whatever he want to do with the player? They're like, come on, what the, the, why the fans, after we buy this guy, why we don't see him on the pitch? Why? And we know that this guy can play. Why? The next thing, why would you not put in Mesut Ozil in the 23? Um, Mikel is the one who come out and said, this all on, listen, Mikel was the one who come out and said, before the start of the Premier League, stating that, Everybody's on a clean slate. Everybody have their opportunity, get, gonna get the opportunity to make amends of themselves. So why we have 22, we can pick a 25-man squad, we we'll pick 23 and leave out a playmaker, which we don't have one at the moment. And this is what's killing us. And then you're gonna buy Williams, the only one who can do something because so last what, so what would you rather have done today? Put put Urzel uh, in there instead of only any. No, okay. Ozil is not in the team, so we can't talk about that. What I would have done. What I would have done, I would have put Williams in the middle, just behind Lacazette, and put Pepe on the right. Simple as that. There's, there is no two way about it. We cannot keep on. This is why we're going to get beat. What was the score? The score was 1 0 penalty, a soft penalty, <laughs> a soft penalty. And it's for real. Sorry, I'm losing. That's not me sabotaging me. <laughs> convincing that we're going to go and play. What? No, it's sorry, I'm sorry. It's not going to happen. And you, have to, you have to understand, Rob. Mikel Arteta is not doing a good job at the very present moment. Don't use those two trophies that he win and believe that he's a king, he's a lord. No, because he's doing things that is wrong. And this is why. Look, we can see. Um, Team score against um, um, Manchester City. We couldn't score a goal against them. Team score against everybody. Score against Liverpool. We get a, we get a giving goal. Yeah, everybody score against Leicester. We couldn't score against them. Even don't tell me about the choker goal. I don't care. What we used to do? Remember one season when Henry scored a free kick and and the referee called it back and said no 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 no. And what Henry do? Spot back the ball and score it again. So if we score a goal that is a legitimate goal and the referee choke it up, we should have gone back over and scored two more because that's the Arsenal. We're not playing like an Arsenal team here. So don't get carried away. We beat in Manchester United on penalty and believe everything is okay. Everything is fine. You're wrong. You're wrong I because if you constantly fine. play... I didn't say everything's fine, but you know what? Today, everything's fine. It's a three points. <laughs> it's three points. Yes. I'm not saying no. But it's not... It is not okay. We're not going to okay. get carried away. It is not okay. okay. We, we agree to disagree, but thank you very much, Yard Man. Um, All right. Then.